and I'm going to speed it up for a little bit just to let that gas off of it. I did some of these pieces in my shop in the last week. I don't recommend doing them in a 110 degree shop. Stan was in the shop, he knows what it is. The al your alcohol just disappears on you, yeah, like is. almost immediately. Okay. <laughs> Your alcohol disappears? Yeah, it's <laughs> Is there a hole in the bottle? Oh, there's a hole in it Turn off, take an exam. I got a few spots. If anybody wants to, you can probably see them from there where it's not completely smooth. You can see the lines. So we're going to hit it again. Jim, next time he stops it, can you zoom in on it so that when we look at this at home, we can see what it really looks like? No, I have been zooming, but yeah. Oh, okay. I've been going back and forth. Okay, thank you. But I haven't seen the lines. <laughs> <laughs> Thing, making it start? I'm not an expert on that. You want me to operate the leg from Yeah, if you can just get it started. Oh, there it went. You have to hit menu? No, there's presets. F1, F2, F... F uh, presets. I'm going to hit this one more time real quick. Put a little more oil. And, and this is a lot for just lubrication of the thing so it spins on there. I'm going to load this thing up again. That's going pretty quick right now. It's in reverse. So this is a piece of furniture. They just do hand rubbing the big surface with the pumice. Yeah. Makes a lot of check with a clean cloth. If you feel the drag, it's still a little bit wet. So just speed it up, let it gas off a little bit. The shellac is really quick drying, so those of us that are rather impatient, it's kind of good for us. And this process is something you definitely don't want to do on you know, your average production. You know, if you're trying to sell something like that, you know, this is something I would reserve for you know, a wedding gift for a good friend, you know, your spouse for whatever, because it's going to take some time. And you don't want to do this on just average wood. That's kind of a waste. You know, when you have something that has a lot of character, any kind of like a non-character wood. You know, and you still get a nice finish, but you can do that with a, a good lacquer or whatever. But if you have something that has a lot of the chatoyants, like that piece of maple there, this really brings it out. That piece of maple was only done with three coats of shellac. Should we pass it around? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Is, is that, that one bowl an intermediate state? Yes. The, the second, the one on your right, 
That's what it looks like right after the stage I'm doing now. Right? It has no extra shellac. It was just had the pores filled. And it wasn't buffed out. It that says, one's got, that's got six coats. <clears throat> and again, this was done in a very hot shop, which I would now not recommend doing in a very hot shop. What kind of shellac do you recommend? Or what are you using there? Um, I got it here. It's uh, the garnet. It comes in a bag. Garnet. It's the garnet. There's many, there's many, many brands of shellac. And you want de-waxed. Well, Make it? sure it says de-waxed. De what, what does that mean? The wax will just clog everything up and you won't get that the, sheet. The shellac, when it comes out of the bug, contains, and it's processed, it contains wax. And if you use shellac with wax, you cannot use oil on top because the oil will not adhere to the shellac. So that is <coughs> wax free, or another term you'll see is 100% uh, uh, no wax or something like that. Zinsner sells it, they don't mm -hmm. say de-waxed, they say 100% wax free. Right. But it doesn't have a great shelf life. Right. So mixing your own, you can keep the stuff as long as you keep a, um, what do you call it, a desiccant? I keep that little bowl, I keep a piece of desiccant in there. And is there mm -hmm. something you could use to dilute the shellac? Alcohol. You have to. Yeah, you have to mix it. The shellac is dry. And this, stuff is and this is a shellac, shellac right? right? These are actually shells from little bugs. No, it's an excrement from the shellac. And it doesn't have a shellac. I don't use it as an open up. That's just what I have for All right, so sir, essentially all we have done so far is fill the pores. And if anybody wants to come up real quick and run their hand across here, it is smooth as a baby's butt. All right, just by filling those holes. Okay. So now we're done with the pumps. And now it's more, right? But you need that. That's not a hard finish. Correct. It will water spot. It'll water spot and alcohol will absolutely rip into it. You know, so this is not something you know you want to have for you know, obviously a cutting board or a tabletop or you know this is for that show piece. Like I said, that special piece um, that really nobody's going to handle much. So I'm going to make another one of these little rubbers. So you have to tell them when you give them their their uh, champagne goblet that they that you did this. I would never do this to a champagne <laughs> This isn't something I would do. I must never. I've done maybe ten or twelve pieces, and they've all been something. Either somebody gave me the piece of wood. The one lady gave me a piece of cedar of Lebanon. Is that what it's? Some fancy cedar piece. Her grandmother had it. And she wanted a vase made. And I said, okay, it's one piece. Um, she paid me a lot of money for it, to, to do it. And it came out beautiful. So show piece is not utilitarian. Yeah. This thing just does not like me. Dave, yeah. why is this not menu? <laughs> Unless it's just my fingers. Okay, get the menu up. I want to go on the slow speed. F1? Yeah. not follow his instructions as far as straining this. Right? I have no problem thinning out the little chunks and one time I did strain it 
I think I ended up with about 10% return. Right. So if you can see, there's a lot of chunks. They're real soft. And once you get them on the piece, the alcohol will, and a little bit of pressure, will just melt them right away. So you just repeat the whole thing from the shellac on? Yep. Do this in three stages. All right. Or I should say three coatings with the pure shellac. And that's the whole process? You just keep repeating it? Or there's something you change yeah. to something else? The only thing I might change if it's feeling like it wants to drag too much, you can add a little bit of oil. Because the oil will be pushed out. Do you mean alcohol or oil? Okay, we're always using the alcohol to keep it real thin. Okay. As you do each successive uh, application, you're melting. That alcohol is melting the one underneath. Okay. The oil just makes it move back and forth a lot easier. Since I started using friction polish, I don't know if I'm ever doing this again. <laughs> really, like I said, the nice thing about this is if you do screw it up, right, or if somebody would get the water stain, this is a piece of cake. So, you know, just hit it with a couple of uh, treatments of alcohol. It'll take any of the Mars out, and you just add a couple extra coats. You, you used the term, did I understand, friction polish? Friction polish. And who makes that? Lots of people. Yeah. Lots of people. It's here. It's available. Oh, yeah. Friction. Friction polish. Mm -hmm. It's not a brand. It's a, it's like some shoes. It's a wonderful thing. Turn it on. That's good. As I'm coming back and forth, I can feel the friction building up as the alcohol is starting to dry out. I'm going to actually tap this with a little more alcohol and try to melt more of this in. You want to try to get all these layers combined basically into one as you melt them with the alcohol. You're melting the one below it and adding to it. In about 30 seconds to a minute, at home I do about 1,000 RPM. I turn it up to 1,000. Let it sit for 30 seconds to a minute. Do one more layer. And I'll do three of these. And then I'll buff it out. Do you try to get different sheens or are you going for a high gloss? High gloss. I want anything else, I'm using the easy stuff, not yeah, this yeah. crap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the best thing after like after you would do three of these layers, right? Take it off, let it sit for two or three days. Let it completely gas off, let it harden, right? Then come back with the alcohol, soften it up, do another three layers. So you use the alcohol, you wouldn't uh, put sandpaper to it. Actually, you can take it right back down to wood with alcohol. Shellac will just keep coming off. You'd have to use a lot of rags. <laughs> All right, one more there. 